Greetings from MV Rao. This video shows a stepwise approach on moisture determination in foods by oven method. Please watch the video and consider subscribing. Thank you. Before we go into the method, we will try to understand the role of moisture in foods. An optimal level of moisture is always essential to keep the structure, texture, flavor and taste of food. Higher moisture levels may be due to insufficient rain, absorption from atmosphere or contact with water even after drying or during processing or transportation or even after packing. Higher moisture always causes problem of spoilage of food, bacterial contamination and fungal contaminations. Fungal contamination may produce aflatoxins or ochratoxins which are harmful. Further, a high moisture food supports the growth of pathogenic bacteria too. Therefore, it is essential to ensure the food products contain moisture at a safe level and to monitor the food at many stages. There are many methods available in literature for the determination of moisture and this presentation gives a stepwise approach in the determination of moisture by oven drying method which is a conventional and age-old reliable technique for certain foods. Let's go into the test method. Moisture by oven drying is one of the various accepted methods in food analysis. The principle is that the water present in the material evaporates at a temperature of about 105 degrees centigrade in a span of about 3 hours time in an oven. The time of drying may vary from 3 to 4 hours depending on the substance. In reality, the drying should be continued till a constant weight. Similarly, the temperature can be 105 degrees or 110 degrees centigrade and different standards give different temperatures. In this guide, we have shown determination of moisture at 105 degrees in 3 hours for demonstration. This method is not suitable for substances containing volatile oils like some spices. I repeat, some spices. Substances with low melting points, those which decompose at low temperatures, highly inflammable materials, and also not suitable for certain liquid samples. This is a digital balance of 0.1 milligram sensitivity which I use for testing moisture. This picture shows an empty weighing bottle with lid which is ideal for moisture test. The lid prevents reabsorption of moisture from atmosphere after drying the sample. The weighing bottle and the lid should be perfectly dry and kept ready separately. The empty weighing bottle should be marked with sample details using a marker pen. The empty bottle with lid is weighed on the balance. In this case, the weight is 25.3406 grams. The sample is transferred into the weighing bottle carefully with the help of a spatula. With the lid closed, the sample is weighed on the balance. In this case, the weight is 28.1548 grams. This picture shows an oven with a temperature adjusted to 105 degrees centigrade. Remember, the oven has already attained a temperature of 105 degrees centigrade by the time we start the experiment. This is the inside of the oven. 
It's advisable not to keep wet glassware etc. in the oven when Lawson drying experiment is on. The moisture from the glassware may be absorbed by the material leading to erroneous results. The weighed sample is now ready to be kept inside the oven with the lid removed. The lid must be kept separately in the oven. The sample is placed inside the oven as shown in the picture. The lid is kept separately in the oven too. The door of the oven is closed after placement of the sample. The temperature of the oven should be finally 105 degrees centigrade. The door of the oven should not be frequently opened. After three hours of drying, the bottle and the lid are removed from the oven with the help of tongs. The bottle is now placed on a clean dry petri dish and the lid is placed over the bottle. The bottle is placed in the desiccator or calcium chloride. The bottle is cooled in the desiccator to room temperature. The bottle with the lid is removed from the desiccator and weighed. The process of drying, cooling and weighing is repeated till a constant weight is obtained. This is the final weight. In this case, it is 27.8306 grams. Let's get into calculations. The weight of the weighing bottle with lid, let's call it W1, that is 25.3406 grams. The weight of the weighing bottle with lid and substance before drying, let's call it W2, it is 28.1548 grams. Therefore, the weight of the substance taken, let's call it W3, which comes from W2 minus W1, that equals 2.8142 grams. The weight of the weighing bottle with lid and substance after drying Let's call it W4. It is 27.8306 grams. The weight of the substance lost after drying to a constant weight. Let's call it W5, which comes from W2 minus W4. That is 0.3242 grams. Now let's calculate the percentage of loss on drying. W5 divided by W3 into 100. That is 0 0.3242 divided by 2.8142 into 100. That comes to 11.5201%. Percent. One final aspect which I would like to share with you all. During my college days, we used to think that moisture test is a simple test, not realizing the importance it has in day-to-day -day life. Today, I deal with agricultural produce, natural products and foods from farm level to folk level and land level to lab level and find one of the most important parameters is moisture. It is one parameter which is very crucial and plays with commerce and science and affects both when not controlled properly. It has its impact on the farmer, processor, trader, buyer and the consumer. Testing moisture by appropriate method suitable for the product is thus a challenge and a task for every producer, scientist and seller for delivering a safe product. I hope you liked the video. Please consider subscribing to my channel.